Jeep, which of course stands for a box on wheels. Uh, yeah, but it's authentic. I mean, <laughs> come on, this is like the Robert Redford of uh, vehicles out there. <laughs> Used to have horrible quality ratings. Yeah, well, now Consumer Reports and, and J.D. Power both have said, wow, they've really made some progress here. And it's come over the course of two years. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, Chrysler does, doesn't have a lot of money to throw around, as we all know. So they carefully spent two years doing the updates, the interior, the electronics, the uh, sound editing. This year, or two years ago, this year, the engine. I've got some good uh, twisty roads for you to try this. Oh, on. I big love Big hills, it. big hills. Can we find some, you know, streams and boulders? <laughs> and... I don't know. Hey, this road's a little interesting. I wouldn't call it the Rubicon Trail, but it's steep. It's twisty, and the view is fantastic. I mean, this is this is where <laughs> a Wrangler Unlimited belongs. Well, you know, you can take this uh, this section of the roof out. We could have a like a convertible Wrangler. Well, but you have to pay extra for those kinds of things. Oh, and, and in fact, this is the almost thirty-five thousand dollars. I would pay extra for the removal. Okay, roof. would you pay another eleven $1 hundred bucks for air conditioning? Uh, yes. Okay, would you pay another twelve hundred dollars for an automatic transmission? No. You see. My point yeah. here is that the, the the original price sounds pretty good, 35-ish, you know, but then you add a few extras and you get this thing gets up into forty thousand bucks. Well, that's stretching. That is stretching. Well, this isn't a mountain quite, but uh, this is where the old car would be uh, running out of oomph. How's it feel? <laughs> it's got plenty of power, yet, doesn't it? You know, I like this three six. <laughs> it's not the most fuel efficient engine in the world, but it's okay. You know, I'm enjoying this. I like the big rugged interior, but you call this a family vehicle. I don't think it is at all. It's too hard to climb into. Uh, the kids that hate it in the back, they'd be throwing up and sick all the time. How can you call this a family vehicle? Well, I call it a family vehicle because all the kids would be thrilled. You know, I mean, I've driven this around with eight, nine-year-olds, you know, the little league players. and all. They love it. They oh, look yeah. at this thing and they go, oh, my gosh. It's cool. Oh, that's so cool. And they love climbing up into those back seats. And, you know, you can the pull. The first the, time. The first time. Well, you can pull the doors off. And, you know, yeah. it is equipped. I mean, it's got the full Navi here. This has got that voice-activated controls. What you kid connect. cares about that? Well, they do. They want to listen to their music. Oh, you know, Jeep's on a big roll right now. They're, they're selling like crazy. They're selling like crazy because the brand is, you know, it's... it's Universal. It's global. Everybody yeah, knows what I think, Jeep I think is. that's exactly the point. In fact, Jeep is building a factory in Russia right now. <laughs> and I can see these all yeah, over the yeah, roads yeah. in Russia, the Ukraine, Georgia, the whole nine yards. They'd have to be armored there, of course. <laughs> well, but a big big vehicle like this, perfect for you. Just put a few steel plates in the doors and away <laughs> you go. Vladimir Putin's family vehicle. <laughs>